I would do a weigh in. I don't know why, but if you're curious, here is my current weight, 195.6. I haven't really been trying to lose weight. I'm not on a diet, I'm not on keto. Honestly, I'm not even really like low carb. I've just been eating whatever I want, but I eat less. Um, and I only eat two times a day. I'm still doing intermittent fasting. And before I left for LA, I was 200. Uh, my weight had been fluctuating between like 197 and 200. And the day that I left, I was 200. I came back from LA and it was 204, obviously because I ate a lot of bad stuff. Um, then I quickly lost like the four pounds. I went back to 200 and then this week or I guess last week I started just eating less and I lost five pounds. So I lost like five pounds just by eating less. So that's what I've been doing. I mean, I'm not really like I said, I'm not like actively trying to lose weight. I just really want to maintain my weight. And if I lose weight, then that'll be a bonus. Oh, and good morning, by the way, I did not say good morning yet. So good morning, bumblebeezies. Um, I guess maybe you can say that I eat low carb because I don't really eat a lot of carbs But if I want the carbs, I'll definitely eat it. I just eat less like I just have been eating less than what I would normally eat So yeah, it's been working Anyways, I really loved the scrambled eggs that I made yesterday So I'm gonna make more even though okay that batch that I made yesterday was a lot It was six eggs like a whole tomato half of an onion, but it was for Ariel It was for both of us and then he took like the leftover for his lunch today He had that with rice and spam So it's all gone and it was so good So I want to make it again, but I'm just gonna make enough for myself because Ariel is not here He's at work, so I'm just gonna make enough for myself. So I'll probably just do three eggs and like a little bit of tomato and onion. It's gonna be really good. It's so good with fish sauce, you guys. It's really good. So I'm using the leftover onions and tomato from last night from the nachos. Normally when I make this scrambled egg, I like to slice the onions, like how you saw it yesterday in like strips, but these are diced because it was, you know, the leftover from the nachos. I mean, it still, it still tastes the same. I just prefer it when it's sliced. So here is my scrambled eggs with onion and tomato and I'm gonna have this with a little bit of rice. There's like a tiny bit of rice left so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish that. I haven't had my coffee yet you guys. It's 9.50 so I'm gonna go ahead and make some coffee and I want to use my new mug, my new Disneyland mug. I'm sure you guys have already seen it because I've been using it. It says brewing up a terrific time and it has it has a spider on the inside, and then if you guys can see right there, there's a little Mickey on the spider. Isn't that so cute? I mean, the spider's not cute, but the little Mickey is. Today and tomorrow, the kids have minimum day. I'm not sure what's going on, but they get out at 12.15. Today, 12.15, well, both today and tomorrow, but AJ said he has practice tomorrow. I think I'm still picking him up though, and then I'm just taking him back a little bit later for practice. And then on Thursday, I have to go to the office because I have training. We're getting a new system, so they're going to teach us how to use it. And it's going to be half a day, so I'll be there from 8.30 to 12.30. And then I still have to come back home and work another four hours. So, that should be fun. The only good thing about going into the office on Thursday is my boss is actually coming. She's coming out here to SAC because she works in the San Francisco office, but she's coming out here to SAC to be with me, to, I don't know, to support me. I think it's so sweet. So she's gonna be with me on Thursday, which I thought was like so nice of her to come out here. So it's 12.20 right now. I just clocked out for lunch and I'm on my way to pick up the kids from school. Um, they got out at 12.15 today. And then after I pick them up, we need to go to Seafood City really quick because I need to buy some pork spare ribs for tonight's dinner because I'm going to make some sinigang. I, well, I should have I should have gotten it on Sunday, but I don't know. I was like too lazy to go. I didn't want to go to Seafood City. So I'm going to make it, I'm going to go there today to buy it so I can make it today. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're going to go to Seafood City to buy the pork spare ribs and then that's it. So I'm going to take a longer lunch than I would normally take because normally I only I usually like to take only 30 minute lunch so I can get off of work earlier but it's okay I'll probably be gone for an hour and I already worked um, well I only have three hours of work left 
So, not bad. Here we are. Seafood City. It's, seafood City is cracking today. We have to park so far. <laughs> this is not the right time. I guess everyone comes and gets their groceries at this time. Or maybe they're having a, lun a lunch date yeah. inside because there's like a little food court. We are back from Seafood City. I got two packs of Sinigang mix. I got some string beans. I got some uh, sardines in a can. This is the spicy one. This is the one um, that Ariel likes, so I just got that for him. And then I bought this cup of uh, spicy seafood noodle soup. Yeah. And then I got some pork ribs. And then I also got pork belly because Ariel wants pork ribs, but oh no, he wanted it with pork belly. But Vanessa, she's not really like, she doesn't really like pork belly that much. So I was thinking of mixing in some of the ribs with the pork belly. Probably do like half and half. All right, you guys, check out tonight's dinner, Sinigang. We have pork belly and we have the ribs. Look at that. Nice and tender. And then we have broccoli and the string beans and I put some serrano peppers in there. Yep, it's really good. Hold on guys, I'm eating my chips. Hold on, before I get to what I was gonna tell you about AJ, I have an update for you guys on my debit card. Yesterday I saw the number change so many times. Isn't that so cool? Spooky. I don't know if I should show you guys. I kind of wanna show you guys, but like, is it safe? I don't think so. I mean, the number changes and you're not gonna see my card number. That's true, but. Let me know what you guys think if you guys wanna see the, the card, the debit <laughs> card. I'll show you guys. Maybe I'll show you guys tomorrow. Let me know if you think it's like safe and if you guys wanna see it and I'll show you guys like one number and then I'll show you guys when it changes into another number. But it's really cool, you guys. The only thing that sucks, I think, is when you do a lot of online shopping and you have your security code memorized, now you have to, you know, check your card to get the, the security code, but that's okay. Oh, and also another thing, my pin code is six digits. It's not four digits anymore. So that's like more secure, right? Okay, anyways, I wanted to tell you guys about AJ's counseling or conflict manager job at school, yeah. right? It's pretty cool because on some days he has to work the phones. And what yes. do you do on the phones? Usually a parent will call and ask if they can speak with their student's counselor. And then they tell me their counselor and then I have to say, okay, I will transfer you. And then I press <laughs> transfer. And then I press the extension number and then I press transfer. And so AJ, AJ is like a receptionist now. Yeah. He knows how to use the phone. The office phone with yeah. all the, you know, extension, yeah. transfer, hold. If I don't know a question, then I have to put them on hold and ask. So what do you say? Can I please put you on hold? Yeah, well, I ask so-and-so. <laughs> so what do you say when you answer the phone? I say, uh, blank, 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 counseling, student speaking, how may I help you? <laughs> and then they usually say it. And then oh, I, you say student speaking? You don't say your name? Yeah, I have to say student speaking. Oh, okay, that's cool. So do you like it? It's kind of scary, but... Yeah, it's it's, it's scary talking on the phone. Yeah. Even I sometimes, I mean, I'm on the phone like every day at work mm -hmm. and I sometimes still get scared. Funniest thing happened today, you guys. I called the doctor's office at 3.30 in the afternoon and she picked up the phone and she said, hello, good morning, how can I help you? And I was like, good morning, what? I didn't say anything, I just continued, but I thought that was funny. Yeah. Not even close to being warning. <laughs> When I first started my job and I was working in the call center and my job was just basically talking on the phone, you know, answering the phones, I would always get so nervous and I would sweat. <laughs> and sometimes they're mean. Has a parent ever been mean to you? No. Well, that's good. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. All right, so it's that time again and it is time to go to sleep and it is also time to end the vlog. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. It's time to go to sleep.